see new changes in a file. Students and teachers view what was missed. Now, so right now I'm going to take you to my Google Drive and we're going to open up a document and we're going to see what I missed. So let's go take a look. So here we are in Google Drive and the assignment was a struggling teacher assignment. So let's open that up. And as soon as I come here, I see something on the top that says see new changes. So now that I've been working on the document, I walked away from it for a couple days and other people have added to it. I can go directly here to see new changes. So I'll click on this and it says see changes since you last viewed this document. So I'll simply press that. And now at the top it says new changes and I'll scroll down. And here are some new changes. This new change has been highlighted in blue and blue represents Anne Marie. And if I scroll down a little bit further, I can see another change here in purple. And when I move the cursor over the purple highlighted part, it says Francis Peter. Anne Marie. And now I've seen the new changes to the document. If I want to see the full history or perhaps just the previous edits, it'll highlight Francis Peter or it'll go to Anne Marie. So it says one of two edits. So I missed two different edits. The first one is here. The second one is here. I can see the total history. And it actually gives me the color associated with each person. So it says Frank Avella on blue. Anne Marie is, looks like purple. Janine is red. And Francis is darker blue. Now, before I wrap this up, I just want to say that the comments will not be part of the, re of the revision history. So anytime you want to look for new comments, you just look at the right hand corner. You just look at the right hand side and you can see comments that were added. So let's go back to the slides presentation. And if you look at the box right here, it says all new material from collaborators is highlighted and easily identified. And it has an arrow pointing to what was added. And right now, I would just like to say thank you for your time. And please watch the next video in the series, See Revision History.